India has long stood as one of the world's largest arms importers. They have acquired fighter jets, warships, battle tanks, radars, UAVs, and the likes. These have cost the country billions of dollars. And one of the countries India has been buying defense equipment from is none other than the United States. The US military exports to India are no mere joke. They are lethal, advanced, state-of-the-art, capable of fending off some of the world's strongest militaries. This is why India now holds one of the world's strongest standing militaries. Yet people often dismiss this notion that India is strong on its own due to its indigenous production, imports from the likes of Europe, and more so from Russia. However, arguably the US produce is still by far stronger than any of these countries. To understand why, let us discuss some of the most important US produced military equipment that India possesses. The first and most important of all is fighter jets. Fighter jets are the most important piece of military equipment in the 21st century. Probably the most important deal isn't a fighter jet transfer, but rather an agreement between General Electric and India's state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to co-produce jet engines in India. This deal is significant as it involves the transfer of critical American technology, namely the F-414 engine to India. The F-414 engine, a product with over 30 years of usage in the US Navy, is renowned for its reliability and performance. It's noteworthy that GE has delivered more than 1,600 F-414 engines globally, and these engines have accumulated over 5 million flight hours. The F-414 engine is slated to be used in India's Tejas Mark II fighter jet and the next-generation advanced medium combat aircraft. The production of these engines in India is seen as a crucial step towards achieving self-reliance in defense manufacturing. In addition to the GE HAL engine deal, there are also deals recently announced that Boeing received approval from the US government to offer its F-15EX fighter jets to the Indian Air Force. This move is part of India's initiative to upgrade and modernize its air force, which includes a plan to acquire 114 multi-role combat aircraft to replace its older Soviet-era fleet. The F-15EX from Boeing is set to compete with other notable aircraft in this category, such as Sweden's Gripen and France's Rafale. In addition to Boeing, Lockheed Martin is also vying for this lucrative contract with its F-21 fighter jet, proposing to manufacture the aircraft in India. This bid by Lockheed Martin is estimated to be worth more than $18 billion. Another important deal is the joint venture between Lockheed Martin and Tata Advanced Systems Limited, known as Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited. Established in 2010 in Hyderabad, India, this venture has achieved notable milestones, including the delivery of the 100th C-130J Super Hercules Impenage, showcasing the success of this U.S.-India industrial partnership. Now secondly, we must discuss another key part, which are missiles. Like fighter jets, missiles hold key strategic importance. One of the major acquisitions includes the Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, which are part of a larger $3.1 billion defense deal with the United States. This deal also encompasses combat helicopters, weapons, radars, and electronic warfare suites. India purchased 245 US-made Stinger air-to-air -air missiles along with launchers and engineering support for its fleet of light attack and attack helicopters. The Stinger missile system, known for its supersonic speed, agility, and highly accurate guidance, is effective against a variety of targets including helicopters, UAVs, cruise missiles, and fixed-wing aircraft. Additionally, India has ordered 812 AGM-114L3 Hellfire longbow missiles and 542 AGM 114R3 Hellfire 2 missiles as part of this extensive defense deal. Furthermore, India has also been approved for a $3.99 billion sale from the US that includes 170 AGM 114R Hellfire missiles, BB laser small diameter bombs, and 161 embedded global positioning and inertial navigation systems. These acquisitions are intended to improve India's capability to meet current and future threats. 
particularly for unmanned surveillance and reconnaissance patrols in its sea lanes of operation. In addition to these procurements, India's Defense Ministry has cleared the procurement of coastal batteries armed with BrahMos missiles, one of the world's fastest cruise missiles. These long-range next-generation maritime mobile coastal batteries, NGM MCB Long Range, are armed with BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and are expected to significantly bolster India's coastal defense capabilities. The BrahMos missile, a derivative of the Russian-made P-800 Onyx, is known for its high speed and precision. It's being indigenized by India with various components and subsystems being developed domestically. The air-launched variant of the BrahMos is also expected to become operational with the Indian Air Force, further enhancing India's military capabilities. Thirdly, let us discuss unmanned aerial vehicles. UAVs for short are also becoming the next generation of warfare. One of the significant news is when the Indian Defense Ministry has approved the acquisition of the MQ-9BC Guardian drones from General Atomics, a US-based company. This deal, valued at over $3 billion, involves the purchase of 31 drones, which are set to play a crucial role in enhancing India's surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities, particularly in the Indian Ocean region. The MQ 9BC Guardian drones are known for their high-altitude, long-endurance capabilities, making them ideal for extended surveillance missions. They can operate for over 30 hours and cover a range of up to 5,500 nautical miles in various weather conditions. These drones are equipped with advanced sensors and can be armed with air-to-ground missiles and smart bombs, enabling precision strikes. Now, let's see India's arms imports in more detail. Before 2008, the defense trade between the US and India was comparatively minimal, limited to moderate US exports like naval helicopters and counter-battery radars in the mid-2000s. Additionally, in 2007, the US transferred an amphibious transport dock ship, previously the USS Trenton and now named the INS Jalashwa, to India through the US Excess Defense Articles program. Now, India's importance has seen the U.S. skyrocket. However, Russia still dominates much of India's procurement. Russia has accounted for around 62% of its defense imports since 2008, France 11%, the United States 10%, and Israel 7%. Nevertheless, in total, since 2008, India has secured contracts for U.S.-made defense equipment valued at nearly $20 billion, as reported by the Defense Department. Some of the aircrafts that India procured that we have yet to discuss are the likes of the C-17 Globemaster III's, the P-81 Poseidons, various helicopters including the CH-47F Chinooks, MH-60R Seahawks, and AH-64E Apaches, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and M777 howitzers, among others. Notably, India has become the largest operator of C-17s and P-81s outside the United States. Looking forward into the future, India is still poised to become a vital partner of the US. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.